Today we are going to be considering the relations of the trachea. The trachea is continuous above with the lower end of the larynx and it is about 10 to 15 centimeters long and it soon divides into right and left principal bronchi. So it's important to appreciate the relations of the trachea. So the trachea is located more or less in the midline. So it's obvious that the sternum is going to be an anterior relation. But which part of it? Just the manubrium sterni. Just the manubrium sterni, not the body. So the manubrium sterni, this is the trachea. The manubrium sterni is an anterior relation, right? The second anterior relation is easy to remember if you keep the manubrium sterni in mind. It is the sternothyroid muscles, this one and this one, which basically have their attachment on the posterior surface of the manubrium sterni. The third um, relation can be seen a bit. This over here is part of the thymus. That is an anterior relation. Now let's talk about the vessels which are not quite shown in this diagram. In this diagram it is quite clear that the arch of the aorta is an anterior relation as well as the brachiocephalic trunk and part of the left common carotid artery. So the right brachiocephalic trunk and the left common carotid artery are also anterior relations. Over here, the left brachiocephalic vein has been cut. Otherwise, this, like, this would have been an anterior relation. In this one, the left brachiocephalic vein has not been cut. So it can be clearly seen that it is an anterior relation of the trachea. Again, over here, you can appreciate that the manubrium sterni is an anterior relation. The sternothyroid muscles are again easily visible. The inferior thyroid veins thyroid veins are also anterior relations this one is the inferior thyroid vein over here you can clearly appreciate that the arch of the aorta is an anterior relation the deep cardiac flexus is also an anterior relation because it is located behind the arch of the aorta this is the left brachiocephalic vein you can clearly appreciate that it is an anterior relation Brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid, easily appreciable. In this one, you can appreciate that the esophagus is um, is a posterior relation as well as the vertebral column. If we finally consider the right and the left relations, the right vagus, the right lung, and the right pleura, they are the relations to the right. Um, you also have the azygous vein, which drains posteriorly. In this would be a vena cava, it, it is not quite shown over here. In left relations, part of the arch of the aorta, the left common carotid, over here it's a left relation, as well as the left subclavian is a left relation. Over here right vagus, over here we have left recurrent, laryngeal nerve being a left relation. I'm hoping this is helpful. If it is, please like, subscribe and leave a comment.